Hey there, fellow monster friends. We meet again. The One Piece live action adaptation is shaping up to be quite a pleasant surprise. However, as a devoted fan of all things monstrous, there's something even more remarkable that has caught my attention. The awe-inspiring design of the Den Den Mushi. In the rich and massive world of One Piece, these snails have always held a unique and special place. However, in this live-action rendition, their design has truly taken on an extraordinary quality that elevates their appeal to new heights. The fusion of humanoid features with snail-like appearances in the Den Den Mushi design is nothing short of remarkable. It's left me with an irresistible urge to create our very own Den Den Mushis. It's going to be a whole lot of fun, so let's jump right in. So kick off our transformation. Let's start by creating the foundational model for our Den Den Mushi. Basically, we just make a normal snail, a fat snail to be precise, and perch atop its head, two unusually large and captivating eyes. Next, let's go into the fascinating part of the Den Den Mushi's distinctive feature, its lips. For a weird reason, Den Den Mushi has a very big and attractive human lip, but we're adding a unique twist here. Instead of starting from scratch, we're going to borrow a page from our Creatures in Hell video, specifically our succubus model that I made not long ago. If you're curious, you can check out the original succubus model here. But wait, not just that. We're going to tweak those succubus lips to make them even more captivating and sexy. A perfect fit for our plump communication snail. Continuing our journey, let's focus into the intriguing part of teeth and tongue for our unique creature. Just like its lips, Den Den Mushi has a distinctly human-like elements in this regard. A set of perfectly straight and white teeth, nestled within a balanced upper and lower jaw, are perfection. This attention to detail is one of the aspects I truly admire about the live-action adaptation. It adds a touch of eeriness, without crossing into the realm of monstrosity, staying faithful to the original manga. Now, onto the next phase, the shell. The shell itself will take on a traditional, round appearance, nothing overly extravagant. However, to stay true to the essence of this communication device, we'll use some mechanical components. We are making a device that includes a number dial for inputting data and a cord that connects the device to a speaker using a snail shell as part of the design. Adding some small detail for the pots and we're done with this mechanical pots. For the base mesh, it appears quite good. I enjoy it. Now it's time to delve deeper into level 2 and enhance the detail of our Den Den Mushi's body. Our weapon for this face, a scale texture. We'll use this texture to directly apply scales onto our base model, creating that realistic scale-like appearance on the snail's skin. These scales will add an element of depth and allure to our snail. To enhance the realism of the snail, I will add some wrinkles to its moving pots. It will make our snail look less boring and much more impressive. Oh, and don't forget to add wrinkles to the snail's lips. This alluring feature deserves some more attention, wouldn't you agree? Next up, let's work on the shell. We will add a touch of realism by using this real-life image of a snail. After cropping it into a rectangular shape, I will transfer the image onto the black-white texture map. This ingenious map will bestow our snail's shell with natural lines and patterns. Some simple as rotating, scaling and voila! The shell takes on some amazing patterns. With level 2 detailing in the bag, we're making fantastic progress. The next exciting phase involves infusing our snail with realistic colors and smart textures. This step will truly make our Den Den Mushi come to life. Let's kickstart this colorful transformation by focusing on what I adore the most, those splendid eyes of the Den Den Mushi. These eyes are absolutely visually impressive, big, beautiful and brimming with vibrant colors. To make them even more captivating, we'll add some subtle veins to enhance their visibility. The choice of bright blue pupils is a good one, I love them. As for the snail's body color, it's a bit of an emotional choice. 
I chose this snail as my inspiration. I simply love the way its lips look and the expression it has. Speaking of lips, we're painting them with a luscious red hue. They should look plump and silky smooth, just as they should be. Next, let's turn our attention to the shell. We'll paint some striking purple stripes on it, giving it an artistic touch that seems as though it's been crafted by human hands. The shell's color will be a subtle, dirty white, akin to concrete or white cement. This choice reflects the blend of organic and mechanical elements that define the Den Den Mushi, especially with its phone functionality. Lastly, my another personal favorite, the two adorable rosy cheeks on our snail's face. Adding these rosy cheeks will bring a touch of classic cuteness to our snail. Yup, it's cute. Done for the snail, it's time to shift our focus to the mechanical foam components. The good news is that these parts are relatively easy to texture and we'll have them looking good in no time. First up, we're going to give this hearing part a classic bronze material. To add a touch of realism, we'll add some surface damage, making certain edges shinier while slightly increasing the roughness of the material. This subtle wear and tear will give the bronze a distinct, authentic appearance. Next in line is the cord, we'll be wrapping it up with a plastic material, and a dash of blue color will do the trick. We are doing similar to the other mechanical components, a few adjustments to create distinct materials, and just like that, the machine parts are ready to roll. Oh, I almost forgot the inside of the snail's mouth, let make it. Starting with the gum tissue, we'll give it a more fleshy appearance by adding some meaty textures. As for those pearly white teeth, we'll texture them with a perfectly straight white teeth pattern to make them look just like the real deal. Now, for the PSD resistance, the snail's tongue. We'll make the creepy looking one with small bright spots all over it and intricate red blue veins crawling beneath the surface. There you have it. With these final touches to the snail's insides, we're ready to move on to the final stage of this project setting the lighting and background environment. In this final stage, we're going to add those crucial finishing touches. This includes fixing many errors, blending the textures, and then baking them onto our creature. It's the moment where our vision becomes reality. As for lighting, I initially considered vibrant colors light set up like purple or blue, but in the end, simplicity won the day. I decided to just use the normal ones, not crazy complicated lighting, but enough to highlight the creature. Now let's set the stage. We'll place our Den Den Mushy on a stylish wooden table, accompanied by a beautiful wine glass. This arrangement will help provide a sense of scale, and also showing just how peacefully our creature sits on the table. And there you have it, my friends, our transformed Den Den Mushy in all its eerie splendor. It's time to witness the results of hard work and creativity. Fun fact, the very first Den Den Mushy was introduced way back in One Piece Chapter 94 on 1999, nearly 25 years ago. To celebrate the long lost memory, I decided to make another Den Den Mushy. The first ever Den Den Mushy is the 16th branch marine snail. For this old one, we'll shift the color from pink to a more skin-like hue, and the once vibrant red lips will be transformed into a light pink shade, adding a softer touch to this creation. Now, onto the standout feature, the shell. This time, we're going to crop and incorporate the marine logo onto the shell's surface. We'll also add some weather details to give it a realistic, time-worn effect. 
and let's not forget the brand number, which turned out to be the 18th instead of the 16th. For some reason, when input 16, I typed 18 instead. My bad. But not a big deal, let's continue. To ensure its distinctive look, I'll rework the eyes, making pupils larger and giving them more reddish tone. To add an extra layer of individuality, I will change the eyelid position, giving our Den Den Mushi a half-closed, contemplative look. And there you have it, the original Marine Den Den Mushi. This artistic journey has truly taken us on a delightful ride. And this is how it is. So here we are, presenting our 3D, realistic and humanoid version of the Den Den Mushi. I hope you've enjoyed this transformation as much as I have. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more nightmarish creations. And of course, let me know in the comments which beloved character you'd like to see get a monstrous makeover next. Until next time, stay horrified.